directions. Very nice. So when I touch you right now with this, with this lasso and tap it on her muscles, she have to be very confident also everywhere. And also I have this flag on this lasso. So when we're done this, we're going to do exactly the same front leg, like this, tapping, 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 tapping. That's very important. Because before we only touch the leg, now we're going to tap, and she have to truly stay still. Very nice. And back, and back, and back, and back, and back. Right here, very nice. So a lot of horses, they start to prince, or they sit hard, they're prancing, they're jumping over the top. Again, it's a foundation step. So now when we accomplish this, we're gonna say, can you keep your emotions and control emotions with this loud movements, this flap? And put my hand on the horse, and from behind, and horse have to stay still, and exactly the same from the opposite side. Can you control your emotion? Very nice. Then again. Very good. And again, right here. Again, that's your saddle. That's your saddle pad. That's your blanket. That's a mound of horse. Beautiful. Beautiful. It's also when horse standing cross tie and other riders walking in the barn or somebody coming towards the horse from behind, from the side then horse control emotion. So now, we're gonna say, very good, you accept me from this side, from this side, from this side, and I can touch you. What's happened with forehead? Can you accept the flag around your face and stay still and be nice and relaxed? Right here, beautiful. Very good, baby. When she's staying still and relaxed like this, I'm gonna say, can you accept me from the back and from the front? and stay still. That's all confidence exercise, and they're all the same for any horse I train. I develop these methods, and I follow them, and I have amazing success with any horse. Beautiful. It's, some horses take longer, and some horses take shorter time. From the back, very nice. And from this side, Very nice, beautiful, very good. And from the back, we're done. The horse have to stay still and be relaxed. Very nice, beautiful. It's not very important to understand right now. I'm not showing you how good she is and how she control her emotion. Whole idea, it's a part of it. Whole idea I share with you how she was educated what kind of methods was applied to her so she truly understands this confidence. That's a main goal, okay? So now, a lot of times when we, and again, I share with you, I'm preparing her for the saddle, for the first ride. When we're gonna swing the leg, what's happened with young colts? They're gone to the next field, to their friends. And we're sitting in the air with saddle and horse gone. Okay, it's very dangerous. A horse goes sideways and, and pushes against a wall or against a round pen, and it's become mess. So it's very important when horse stands still to use from opposite side this flag because that's my leg will be after to mount the horse. And horse have to be nice and relaxed. And I call this rodeo queen, this exercise, on top of the horse because I'm going to and a lot of horses, this is simple exercise. Not a lot of horses can control this. It takes a long time to teach that. Okay? Beautiful. Because I'm going to use 
are going to be on top of the horse and horse have to be very very confident when I am on top there beautiful right here beautiful and horse stays still very good job we're going to uh, put back and front cinch around the ear so I'm uh, very important when I use stick and go all the way up and down on my horse belly and wrap especially in the back all the way front back front back and I don't want to see no twitching in the muscles at all I want to see nice and confident nice and very confident and I apply a lot of pressure under their belly so they truly feel this this stick and we're going to change the sides here So when I'm using this, it have to be very, she have to be very, especially with mares. Mares really don't like this here in the back. So when I'm gonna put back scene, she have to be very, very confident. Very nice, beautiful. Very nice, baby. Beautiful work. So when she done this exercise, now it's one of my favorite exercises because a lot of times when we it's a young call so we, she, I didn't rode her yet we're going to ride her very soon but she have to accomplish all this exercise before I'm gonna ride her. so we're gonna walk towards the horse to mount the horse right from the front in the future in our life in from the front from the side sometimes we're gonna go from the back because horse gonna be tied to the trailer to the tree when we trail ride to the cross tie, tie to the wall in the stall. We're gonna walk towards the horse from the back. So horse have to be confident from the front, from the left side. So from the front, from the side, from the back, and exactly the from the right side, from the front, from the side, from the back. So I don't have to have surprises when I'm gonna to walk towards the horse with saddle and mount the horse. Horse gonna run away from me. Very nice, beautiful and relax. And again, beautiful and relax. And again, beautiful and relax. So exactly the same from the side. Very nice. And from the side. Very nice. And from the side. Very nice. And 45 degrees from the hip. So she can see me, so it's not gonna be a surprise and she's gonna kick me in the forehead. So I'm not gonna put myself in a dangerous situation. Right here, very nice baby, come here, sweetheart. Absolutely, you know this, I love you, you know this. She knows it, that's for sure. So now I'm gonna start to educate horse to face us with hind horse. And I all the time repeat and repeat and repeat the sentence. They're teaching us many times many times, many years, hundreds of years, it's a dangerous to educate horse to face horsemen with hind quarters and round pen. And never, never teach horse to do this because it's a very bad habit. So I'm saying like this, if it's so dangerous, let's not stay behind the horse hind quarters and the cross tie, or brush the tail, or touch the legs, or put the shoes on the hind legs, or trim the horses. Let's not do nothing around the horse, around the horse hind course at all. So if horse know very well extending touch, travel consistent and consistent forward motion, the horse know turn outside and inside, horse know how to stop and face and stay still till you're gonna give to horse different cue and come to you when you desire from the horse, not because we're running horse in a circle and horse using instinct what mother nature give her because that's what horse is using when it's a dangerous she looking for an answer so with this danger we're going to be released from her mental abilities that's actually pressure and release we call this so and after call, horse come to you in the middle and then after we teach horse step away from us so in my opinion uh, we should have educate horse to be safe with his front end, hind end, teach horse to stay still where you teach, when you ask it to stay still, and come to you 
when you desire from the horse come to you. And again, send away horse and stay far away from this. So let's play this game a little bit and see how she will gonna behave. Again, we're gonna ask her to step back to the panel. Right here, back to the panel, and we're gonna ask her, we're gonna ask her to face with his hind course, right here. This hind course, please face me with hind course, if right here, baby. Again, a little bit more shoulders. Right here, a little bit more shoulders. More shoulders, right here, baby, and stay still. So if I develop so much confidence, a little bit more, baby, a little bit more step. Right here, beautiful. I want to 90 degrees towards. So again, if I'm going to walk again, right here, 90 degrees towards me. Again, 90 degrees towards me, baby. Step right here. So when I'm going to walk to horse, so when I'm going to walk to horse and touch your hind quarters, she have to be very, very safe and understand that's not going to hurt. But again, it's, we have to finish previous methods. That's very important. So we cannot just walk like this towards the horse hind, because face her towards us with hind hand and walk, because we're going to put ourselves in a very dangerous situation. Beautiful. So when she's done this side, we're going to do exactly the same opposite side. Very nice. Beautiful. Very nice, beautiful. Very nice, and side. Very good. Very nice, and side. So we've done this side, and now from this side. And from this side. Very nice. So now exercise are called the surprise me. Okay? Because a lot of times when we walk around the horse, walking, 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 we're okay, we're okay, we're okay, we're okay, we're okay. Surprise me. Walk, walk, walk. Surprise me. Walk, surprise me. Walk. Surprise. So any time when you pass in your horse and you move this flag and surprise your horse, she have to be very, very confident and not fall apart. Another exercise I practice with uh, horses is their feet. So when I using the flag in front of the horse feet, horse have to stay still and be confident. Not to dance, not to throw head up in the air, not to kick with front legs and etc. Just like this. Beautiful. And if you're gonna just put this in a halter and start to apply all these exercises, that's never gonna work. Who's gonna pull you around the arena or field? You have to have methods and previous education and preparation. Beautiful. Very nice. And exactly here. Very nice. Beautiful. Very nice, beautiful. So we're gonna flex the horse right now, and the horse have to stay still and control emotion with this flag when they're using this flag, flag around the horse head. And why I actually apply this exercise? But the, because I take a natural instinct from the horse. Because I take horse instinct away right now because I holding her and she cannot run away. So that's why horses, they're gonna pull sideways and flip and backwards and etc. So she truly have to trust me right now. That's a whole act, this exercise is all about. She truly have to trust me when I flex in her and I work with this. She have to stay still and be very, very confident with this and trust me 100%. Because if I gonna start to develop neck muscle, 
uh, in uh, under saddle and I'm gonna switch my hand to rein and I not finish this step, then she might gonna flip on me backwards or she gonna run away forward or sideways and gonna start to buck after. So that's very important to accomplish. Very good, baby. Very nice.